Back to Harbaugh. A huge reversal by this president, President Obama, and his attorney general, Richard uh, Eric Holder, today. The Obama administration says it will no longer defend the constitutionality of the Defense of Marriage Act, which present, prevents rather, the decision of one state on same-sex marriage to affect another state, and also says that only a marriage between a man and a woman will be recognized under federal law. What will this decision by the Obama administration mean for the fight to legalize same-sex marriage, and how would it play out politically in 2012? Two great questions, two great guests. Guess Richard Socrates is president of Equality Matters, and Pat Buchanan is at MSNBC Political Alliance. Welcome, Richard. It seems to me that the president of the United States has a constitutional responsibility to defend laws that have been signed by presidents. Why do you think this president's not doing what you'd normally consider his duty, which is defend the law? Well, he has a duty to enforce the law, which he's going to continue to do. But fundamentally, what he said today is, I don't believe this law is constitutional. And because I don't believe it's constitutional, I'm going to not continue to defend it. He, he was obviously increasingly uncomfortable by doing this. There are many of other instances. And why wouldn't it be constitutional for states? I will be an advocate here of, of what I can think is fact, not a point of view. And that is that states get to set marriage laws. Well, states, They've always going to, every state's been a little different. Why can't a state set one law and other states set another law? And, and That's they, what DOMA says. And they can. And even after the president's action today, they, in theory, they will be able to do this. The president's action today relates to benefits and a challenge to the benefits section of the law, which says that the federal government doesn't have to pay benefits to people who are legally married. So that's the states. only part of the law he's not going to defend. That's the part of the law he's not going to defend. He's defending. not going to defend the, the good faith and well, credit. Well, I, I think this will lead to the okay. eventual Pat, there's two provisions the in law, law. as you know. Right. One says if you're Virginia, you don't have to do what Connecticut or Iowa are doing. Right. And the other one says the federal, goal, the federal government, for its purposes, will not recognize any marriage except those between a man and a woman. Your view on the president's decision today? Well, I think the president's position has changed, as you pointed out, Chris, and we've got to ask why he did. Has he been sitting down studying the Constitution? Of course not. This is a political decision. There's no doubt he's under great pressure from his political base, part of which is the gay rights and the more militant gay right. rights community. And I think he simply capitulated. Chris, we have a very weak president, quite frankly. You take a look, he did not face fiscal and financial disaster. You saw his statement on Libya. The, the man is not a strong leader. And I think what he and Holder are doing... Who have been strong presidential leaders in your lifetime? Well, I think, uh, well, frankly, Richard Nixon was strong. Harry Truman was strong. I think Ronald Reagan was a strong leader. I think in some ways, though I disagreed with him, Bush was. Bush, too. Actually, you know, I think this shows incredibly strong leadership, and I think it builds on the momentum that the president and Why the White House saw in Don't Ask, Don't Tell. You know, I do think the country's changing its mind. Is he changing his mind? Well, I think he says he's in the middle of an evolution, but I think what you see is that they saw the success Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It was singularly the most <laughs> Politically popular. It was so the let's most move. popular. You're sitting next to someone who doesn't believe in evolution. <laughs> no, but listen, so let's take a look most, at it. It was the most any. important and the most okay, popular uh, thing the president okay. did. I think popular. the president is in the middle of an Use evolution. Use the word popular. Okay, maybe. But let's see. Here he was in December of last year talking about his feelings on this issue of same-sex marriage where he opposed it, remember. Let's listen. My feelings about this are constantly uh, evolving. I struggle with this. Uh, I have friends. I have people who work for me. Uh, who are in uh, powerful, uh, strong, long-lasting uh, gay or lesbian unions. And uh, they are extraordinary people. And this is something that uh, means a lot to them and they care deeply about. Uh, at this point, what I've said is, is that my baseline is a strong civil union that provides them the protections and the legal rights uh, that married couples have, and I think that, and, and I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, but I recognize that from their perspective, it is not enough, and I think this is something that we're going to continue to debate, and I personally am going to continue to wrestle with going forward. Well, he's wrestling with it to the point right. now he says he will not defend the constitutionality of a bill which basically yes. works against him. Here's the poll to make your point, Pat. Latest polling. Mm -hmm. Pew poll, not a right-wing poll by any standards. 48% uh, of the country, Americans, oppose gay marriage. 42 support it as a, as a whole, the country. When you break it down to just independence, which we're always fighting for in political uh, debates here, 44% were in favor, 43% not. So the independent voter mm -hmm. is slightly, in fact, let's just call it 50-50 on the line. So the Democrats 
Democrats tend to be for it. The liberals are for it. Right. The conservatives are against. No surprise <laughs> there. What do you think? It's not clearly a big benefit to him among independents. So why is he doing it? I said at first it's his base. But Chris, look at this. Here's a man, almost 50 years old, a constitutional lawyer, presumably. Moral truth doesn't change because of polls, and the Constitution doesn't change because of polls. How are you grappling and evolving with an issue? But Pat, you know, when, been, we know the law. He, he, we the know the Constitution. He's, 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 the Constitution, the way we interpret it, well, obviously well, does you can change, change the and, interpretation, and, but right. you cannot change the and, Constitution. And can I say, he really has been clear on this from the start. He said that this law, is, even when he was running for, for president, he said this law was unfair and was wrong and should be repealed. What he's doing now is bringing the government, bringing the okay, Justice yeah, Department why don't you Let's talk about the world we live in. Sure. Plessy Ferguson said it was all right to have separate but equal in schooling. Brown came along, right? The Warren Brown Court. Brown was based on and sociology. And Brown basically said, yeah, you can't. based on sociology. Right? As well, this Brown may well be based on sociology. Pat, well, well, <laughs> Pat, the world is changing. You have to agree. The world is changing. What the President views on this if are changing. If you don't, changing. Richard, if you don't like Dome, I can understand it. Put something up to the Congress of the United States and change it. Well, that's what he tried don't to do. Don't send the Department of Justice say that. Okay, now you know why? Now that is a good, defensible Scalia that, type position. Right. Judge Scalia once Congress. said when I interviewed him, I like laws. Congress should take these issues on. And you know what and the president and, and, and but this, president, this, president but this said, Congress isn't going to do this it. This president right? said that my first choice would be to have Congress okay. repeal this, but I Paul, can't get it. Can I ask you a political question? Yeah. Will this help with gay groups? It'll help a lot. This is a okay. very significant. I don't think it'll this help with our ground. Well, but this is listen. <laughs> listen <laughs> the, the mood of the country is changing. Discrimination against gay people is no longer but, popular. You, know, you showed those polls, but some of the other Richard, polls are even are even more fifty fifty. Very very quick point. Ten Look, seconds. Moral truth exists and it doesn't change, and all things are not equal. But Richard. people's views on these things change. Okay, Pat, Richard, even so you're things evolving on this, Pat. I can tell. You're not going to change his mind by yes, I'm going to change his mind. Hey guys, Richard Sagarides, this is not a physical argument here. Thank you, Richard Sagarides. Thank you, Pat Buchanan. Very, very good debate here tonight. I think it was very civilized.